All right, uh, we're getting close now. Uh, the motor's all done. Um, all I had to do back here was put uh, a screw in that uh, wire retainer. And uh, so that part's done. Um, I got this big bracket thing uh, put back in. And uh, here, here's the little micro switch. And what that does, I think, is if, if the washer, if you get too much shit in there, and it starts vibrating like this, I don't know, maybe if it hits the bottom of the pan there, it'll shut the washer off, because it's probably about to tip over. Uh, re rerouted all the wires uh, back around and put them in the wire looms. And then um, the uh, motor control is... Uh, that connection right there, uh, that's all put back together. So I'm going to start putting the front front back together because otherwise, if you don't, uh, the door is kind of loose. And uh, when we go to start it up, you know, I want a good tight seal around there so we don't get water all over. But you can kind of see how loose this is because I got to put. Uh, two screws back in there, and then uh, uh, there's one there, and one right there. And that's what holds the front on, so I'll get that all put back together, and uh, we should be able to fire it up shortly. See, uh, see if we fixed it. Okay, the front panel is uh, back on. Uh, four screws. That's all it takes to get that off and put it back on. So we're in good shape there. Uh, the door door looks good. So I think we're ready to plug it in and uh, go through a startup on it. Okay, uh, the washer is uh, plugged in and I turned on both uh, hot and cold water supply. So they are on. Um, what I want to do is put the washer into a quick service cycle and that will go through and test uh, all the different steps for uh, washing your clothes. Um, in order to do that, we need to um, put the washer into service mode. And uh, to do that, we have to press the delicates and heavy soil key for three seconds and uh, that'll place it into service mode and then once we accomplish that um, we are going to put it in uh, the quick service cycle uh, and that's the delicates setting so let's see what happens here so we got Delicates and heavy soil. And we need to select delicates again for the quick service cycle. Okay, we hear some stuff. That will be the cold water and bleach. Energize cold water and bleach. That's step one. Step two will be the energize the hot and fabric softener fill. And that'll be in this container here. Hopefully this video won't get too boring. Uh, the door lock solenoid just kicked in, so the door is locked. Which it said that was... Uh, step four, but we'll see what happens. Okay, it just kicked off, and uh, now we have the uh, hot water and softener is activated.
and once that's completed to high level the valves will be off. So before the repair uh, I could get this far with the testing but uh, after this it would shut down and I think it would start draining. Okay, I got scared for a second. I thought we had a our same problem, but nope. Uh, we are in the uh, tumble using seven thirds tumble pattern for 12 seconds, I guess. And uh, I looked back here. Let's see. I can't really probably can't see it, but the uh, flywheel back there is turning. So that's a good sign. Yeah, it sounds like it's really revving up now. Let's see if I can kind of turn this a little bit. Maybe we can see it. I'm going to get the light. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we got the uh, end spin and coast down, unlock door, when RPM zero, display PA on continuous for 10 seconds if no diagnostic codes were logged during the test. And uh, I didn't catch it on film, but it did say PA, so I think we're good to go. Wonderful. Well, I got to put the hole back on uh, the washer here so uh, we'll get that all taken care of and uh, we'll have a little recap. Okay one thing I wanted to add before I close this uh, back up is that um, I took a closer look at the way that uh, that belt was tracking and it was probably I don't know an eighth, three sixteenths uh, closer um, to the camera there and I could actually see that you know it was not tracking the way it originally was so I just bumped the uh, belt over one tooth and then uh, everything looks like it's um, tracking identically to the way it was before so just a minor adjustment there but we're uh, we're in good shape I'm gonna put the back on okay so everything is finally put back together all the covers are on I moved the washer back next to the dryer and uh, so just to recap uh, I was you know doing laundry uh, I heard something pop and I came in here smelled uh, a burnt electrical smell so of course immediately you know unplugged the cord and uh, kind of let things cool off I started digging around I started first at the back of the machine uh, looking at the uh, this, the, this electronic control board, but everything was good to go there. I didn't see any burn marks. Um, so I went down uh, lower right corner. That's where the motor control circuit board is. Um, and uh, 
looked at that and sure enough with closer inspection there was burn marks on it um, so I knew that had to be my problem uh, the kit I ordered the kit for this washer uh, it was 225 for both the motor and the uh, new motor control circuit board uh, actually I think you almost have to buy it as a kit now because the uh, the way that the wires um, are attached to things this is the old one here and uh, you couldn't you just can't make this work because they've got everything soldered uh, to it so they kind of got you there you got to replace the motor and uh, that motor control circuit board overall it wasn't really that hard of a job um, I, I've got a little bit of mechanical background and electrical uh, I'm an electrician <laughs> so I like to kinda dig into things and uh, try to fix them if I can especially being so close to Christmas time uh, yeah they still crack me for 225 but you know you probably could have doubled that with the labor if somebody had to come out and uh, fix it for you so uh, I got lucky I guess you know that it wasn't like a little limit switch or something like that that wasn't making or breaking but uh, telltale sign of uh, you know smoked uh, circuit board so it was uh, I don't want to say easy to fix or find but it definitely helped <laughs> so well, alright, I hope this video helps somebody out. Um, I know it was kind of a, uh, probably not a very good video, but it, it might help somebody out. So, alright, take it easy.